So this is the post I made in April. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharifa and I live in Nova Scotia in Canada. On my YouTube channel, I just share my experiences about life here in Canada. So I dwell more on lifestyle and a bit of immigration. In this video, as you can tell from the title, it's about leasing or buying a car in Canada. Uh, so I just thought to share my experiences about that. And before I start, I'd like to put a disclaimer out there. This video is solely for the purpose of education. This video, I repeat, is solely for the purpose of education to share information. It's not in any way to brag. It's not in any way to show off. Allah sees my heart. God sees my heart. The purpose of this video is for educational purpose, mainly to inform. I hope that nobody will misconstrue this video for whatever reason. I don't need to put this disclaimer, but I just still thought to still put it. And after this disclaimer, and you still stay, ah, who's going to She's just trying to show off. It's now between you and God. Please, take this video, watch this video with an open mind and see it as, a me, as me informing or educating people who didn't know better. Because this experience also made me open my eyes and it made me better informed, okay? So, let me get into it. So, let me give a backdrop uh, before I start um, sharing what I want to share. So, in November of 2020, uh, I went car shopping with my husband uh, because I started working from home since March of 2020. So, March up until October. In October, we got in an email that, oh, we could go back to work now in the office. At the time, the COVID cases in, in Halifax, you know, subsided. So, I worked in the Halifax office. So, they said, oh, those all of us in Halifax can go back to the office to work. So I didn't drive my car. I mean, I, I, I drove it, I mean, once in a while. So from March to October, I was working from home for that seven months. So I didn't really drive my car. On some days, I'm not even, you know, warm it. I, I, I do say, go and warm your car. You know, I will forget. But so the car was there, like, I mean, just there. So when I now went back to work, it was giving me issues. I mean, it's been packed mainly for a large uh, amount of time in, the, in those six, seven months. So it was giving me issues, like issues on some days I go to work. After I work to start the car, it will not start. I'll call my husband, come on, excuse me. And luckily, we are leaving about five, seven minutes drive from the office. So, I mean, it, could, it was able to come down and help. So this thing for like a month, it, it continued for, for one month. As of October, November. So in November, we had very high cases of COVID in Nova Scotia. And then some people in my office too, you know, some number of floors in my office, some of my colleagues I got COVID. So we asked to go back home. Between the time I was going, I went back to the office in October to November, uh, I went cash it because this car issues was getting too much. I just said, we can't continue like this. You have to get a, a car. And all the while, in 2020, we already clocked four years in in Canada. In in those over four years we lived in Canada, all the cars we've used are cars we've bought off KGJ. KGJ is a website where you can get like fairly used uh, items, cars, name it, all kind of things. So we so we thought, how about buy the Takangan car? Let's go look for a, a new car, you know, and get the details and see if we can, you know, go for that. So my husband went, you know, from one dealership to another, like different dealerships. Kudos to my husband, like he did a good job that because I could not even, I didn't even have that kind of strength. So he come bring the car to the office for me during my break. I would drive. We do like a what's it called now, a, a test drive. So eventually we started for one, uh, and on the day we had to like finalize. So we were like doing the paperwork on the day we had to finalize. I got an email from work to say. Okay, you have to go back home now. We've had high cases of, of of COVID, so back to home, back to you know working from home. And I thought, how can I buy a new car? And the car will be packed, you know, in the garage uh, while I'm working from home. I thought, Abdul, I cannot buy this car anymore. It was like, I mean, it was it wasn't really happy because he had gone, uh, he had done so much work, you know, trying to get a car, you know, that we 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 settled for. 
and also the finance comp i mean the dealership too we're like ah is it because of the price okay we'll give you discounts this da 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 i'm like nope i don't see the need anymore to buy a car i'll be working from home there's no need for me to buy a car i told my husband i'll be sharing your car with you on the days that you're not driving maybe we can have to go maybe shopping or i'll you borrow your car but for now i don't see the need to buy a new car and that incident now made me see all the sales, the sales gimmicks this dealership you know uses so because i said i was not buying so they thought maybe it was the it was the amount that i was to pay and maybe the you know maybe the, i thought the money was too much they kept so the the finance um manager who was now you know in talks with us when i kept sending me emails okay we'll give you this discount the price that we were, were like you know even before that came about we had bargained you know back and forth we got good deals according to them so i said i was not buying again people are saying that people are telling me that they had given me the best deal we're now going down okay pay this pay that pay for, for a brand new car like pay this the amounts like three good times they gave us discounts i was like oh so you could give me this discount before you not give me as much i bought the car like at the time we agreed so that i've lost this you know discount so even at those discount i still did not was not I'm, I'm like okay it means that maybe maybe they can even go down more and for me i like to weigh my wants against my needs even if they're telling me to come and buy pay one dollar the fact that that need for me was no more there i was like nope i'm still not buying this car because i have no need for it so I, I told Abdul, like, I explained to him that this is my stance. Like, I really don't want to buy a new car. And for my husband, is it's particular about cars. Like, my husband can, can, can care for a car like a human being. I'm not like that. Like, I can drive a rickety car anytime. If the car will carry me from point A to point B, I'm good. If you like, abuse me and say I'm using 1904 car. Mm -hmm. It's not my business. So far, the car is digging me from my point A to point B. I really don't, I don't bother. My husband is particular about cars. He loves cars. You know, even when it comes to maintenance, he's on point. My dad can use 10 hours to wash your car. No jokes, right? So I'm not like that. So I'm like, I'm not buying this car. Chuck convinced him. I was like, okay, I mean, it's for you. You said you want to buy a car. I cannot force you. And that was it. And uh, that's my experience at that time. That was in November of 2020. And we started working from home till then. Till now, this is March 2022. We are still working from home. So technically, I've worked from home for two years. So I was still sharing my husband's car. And then he got another car for himself, like a fairly used car for himself. And then he gave me his own car. So that was it. So this is car that he gave me and I started having issues again. I was like, at this point, you have to buy a new car. You cannot keep buying fairly used car and having issues you think you are, you are thinking you are saving money buying fairly used car and then you're spending so much money maintaining the car you know and he, you know he sat me down and explained to me that okay i think i'm due for a car i mean i deserve it why not i deserve it <laughs> let's stop using mentality of poverty to deal with these things so i have a platform called live in Nova scotia i'm very active on instagram so it's live in Nova scotia so in april of 2021 i made a post about leasing and buying a car i shared my experience about that thing i just told you about and i got a lot of responses and people sharing their own opinions and all of that let me show you the posts uh, give me a moment so this is the post i made in april on april 10th 2021 and i tagged it buying or leasing a vehicle in canada a personal experience you know swipe and read uh, the caption so uh let me just uh, scroll or swipe and just you know explain a, a bit of a bit more so that was me during one of my test drives like i drove a lot of car see i know jokes money is good though here money is good money is good though like we, I, I drove very wonderful cars but even that did not still you know lure me to buy a car that you know that i would not have a need for so we, we drove a lot a, a number of cars so that's my office my, my dad will come bring the car to my office maybe during my lunch break or uh, you know break i think this was during winter so it, it gets dark uh uh it was, we are approaching winter i would say so it gets dark so we went to a little dealership so that's me just driving mm -hmm. the 
even even card but it felt good it felt good. It was a good good experience and um that's that's about test driving okay so let me go back to the main thing of this video so uh, the main thing uh, the reason why i'm sharing this is to sh you know share the pros and cons of leasing and buying a car i'll start with listen and also this experience also opened my eyes to the i didn't even know listing was was a big thing you know i was more about the buying so this experience also opened my eyes to the pros and cons of listing or buying so these are for listen so for prawns uh for one when you list a car you have a lower so if you are doing car financing that they're not buying the car outrightly so you pay lower monthly payment as against paying a higher monthly payment when you buy and another one is like you have a lower drive off the lot fees so what this means is that for leasing you don't have you're not compelled to make it a down payment at all for leasing and also your ability to drive the latest model so what this means is that so if the leasing is for three years so after three years you get another maybe a newer model if you want so you have that you know that's room for you if you lease a car so if you drive for three years the next three years you can ask for another you know latest model and uh warranty protection through the list term so the warranty is covered so you don't have to uh, pay extra for warranty and then the cons let's go to the those are the pros like the advantages the cons one of it is that you have mileage restrictions what that means is that you are subjected to you know watch what you drive how much mileage you cover once you exceed the mileage you're giving you are you pay like premium but for every extra miles you cover or kilometer you you know you pay extra for that so that's the one of the cons of leasing another one is that potential for extra fees so if you terminate the contract earlier let's say three months or sorry three years or four years uh, depending on how much uh, how, how long your lease is for you pay like you know maybe like a fine if you go over mileage like i said it before if you go over your mileage you pay you know, an extra fee another one is additional insurance coverage is necessary so you have to like put an extra insurance on it and another one is the need to get a new car at the end of the term so if it's for three years or four years you are you know you're sort of compared to have another car because once three years passes that's the end of the car you don't have the car anymore so it's not your so listen is not like it's not your car you're like brewing it <laughs> is that the word i should use now like you just you know using it for that time for that time uh frame so i got to come on the comments you know so another one let me scroll or swipe and the uh, benefit of leasing a car see if you're trying to keep your monthly spending in check leasing a car tends to offer the perk of making lower payments versus buying the same car also what you pay throughout the lease uh the initial sticker shock may not be as bad you may not need to also what that means is that you don't have to put like down payments like i said earlier so benefit of leasing a car i think i already said that like it's like a, you know a summary of what i said earlier on on the previous slide and that you're able to keep your monthly spending in check like you have a lower monthly payment as against you are uh, you buying a car and in addition what you pay throughout the lease yeah so you may not uh, another one is that you don't have to pay down payments i already said that before the drawbacks leasing you know may make it financially easier to put you in the driver's seat of a new car uh, but you won't be in full you won't, you won't be fully in control so what that means is that even though you are driving a new car it's not technically yours like you are brewing you are, you are brewing the car for a time being right so, so that's that and then let's go to the pros and cons of buying a car so for if you buy a car you don't have any any mileage restriction like you can you can drive from Halifax to Toronto if you like without you know thinking twice and another one is no wear and tear charges as against leasing when you lease a car you have to like be very careful if you have any damage any wear and tear you may be asked to pay an extra amount right and the ability to, to sell or trade in the vehicle so once you buy you're able to you know trade in or sell the car if you don't want anymore it's it's your car right 
and then the cons are you have higher monthly payments as against uh, when you lease so you have you know you pay more uh if you're so i'm speaking as if you're doing a car financing like if you're financing the car it's not an outright payment so you may when you buy you pay higher monthly uh payments and also for buying you're required to put a down payment and it's more more money than when you lease so for buying some being on the dealership you are talking with talking to you require to pay you know put some money down right and another one uh one of the cons is that long-term maintenance cost so it's your car you have to maintain it so you are like, the one pay for the maintenance you know as against you leasing the car so that's that for the benefits the pros and cons and uh, let's go okay so benefits i mean that's what i just explained in, in the previous slide so that the benefits of buying a car these are the drawbacks i already mentioned that and this is like comparing you know the costs of listing versus buying so you have to so for you to on so uh i mean so for you to buy a car or lease a car your there are factors that you have to consider right so it depends on your financial standing like personal finances and also your driving habits so people love to drive like latest cars i don't mind to drive a 1724 car i don't mind <laughs> i'm exaggerating but you get what i mean people like to drive the latest car so someone like that may want to go for leasing for example if that's what they want like maybe they're not able to afford to buy a car every time a new model comes so they do leasing for three years or they're about and every three years they have like a latest car uh as against you buying if you want to buy like you can't keep buying a, a model like a new model every single year right so that's one of the things that i mean all these things were explained to us you know and in that november of 2020 that we went first for car shopping and it really was very enlightening for me because i didn't know all of these things before and you know it was really really enlightening for me that's why i thought to share uh anyway so that's that about you know buying and leasing a car so let's continue this video so that's that about buying you know and leasing a car so the option is now for you to so it's now less for you to decide which is the better option for you there's no right or wrong answer you can decide to lease if you want to you can decide to buy uh let nobody you know judge you for whatever choice you choose uh just do what is best for you you know as an individual as a family right so that's i just have to share that part i would i hope it was you know it was informative enough for you so let's go back to the gist. So, so all of these things was happened in November of 2020. So December came, I did not buy any car. All through last year, 2021 as well, I was still working from home. Like, nope. So this year, when I was having that issues with my husband's car that, you know, I was using. So it was like, we have to buy a car. So we went again for car shopping. And then eventually we got one. And um, let's be honest. This is when you don't have money that you begin to think, ah, it's a waste of money to buy a new car. My brother, my sister, it's not. Those that are driving new car, they do not have to age. Those that are having, they are driving the latest car, they do not have to age. Like, <laughs> I think for me, maybe because I've not had experience with driving a lot, like, I started driving when I got married, for example. So I really have not had experience with cars like that. So now, when you begin to, those, those test drives, like, those test driving the cars, open my like bam people are like i am not i don't have half head i deserve this kind of life too you know just joking but you get what i'm so now i have my my car and i've been enjoying it we've had it for a while and honestly it took me a lot of thoughts to share this to do this video i'm like what would they say if they don't say you're bragging or don't say you're trying to show up but god knows that god has led me to share this video and people came to canada and they bought a new car bam as they came some after one year they bought a new car some two years this is my sixth year now i'll be six years in august this year by god's grace in canada we have been so you have we've been here for five years and seven months now and if i buy like in a new like a new model car i deserve it as most of them will say it's more than making to think that you don't deserve a new car 
when you have the means i'm not i mean not rich you we're just like you know we're upcoming people like you know, like you are not like you know you are watching me you are upcoming so boy and like my husband will say that it's not about sometimes you don't think about you know the money but what about the safety like the one, the one day you told me that ah that is now that his mind is at rest that i'm driving a car that uh, he's not thinking ah maybe i'll call him and say ah one car is giving me problem but now he has you know this rest of mine i'm like really you said well you don't know i'm the one that you know anything happens you come and it's even anything that happens to my car even if car anything at all <laughs> i'm calling him because when it comes to car count me out i'm not it's not my fault at all it's not like it's not my it's not something like i'm good at so and when you know your limits when you know your strength you'll be good so he says that now that he knows that yes you are driving a car and you know you're at peace i'm at peace everybody is good because i drive kids I, so what informed my decision to buy a car even though i'm still working from home so i do school runs in the mornings right my husband now goes to work so he drives so we need that to car in our family so that's why you know that need now came about and i'm like okay now it's time to buy a to get a car and you know and also for the safety of you know the kids their days are like uh, you know i'll be hearing some sound they'll be like hey god let me get to my destination you know so now that's I have a, a good car uh you know everybody's fine and it's good and just what i had i love his car like oh my god i love it like the features oh my god so i hope you enjoyed my video i hope that you took it you learned a thing or two i hope that you see this video with an open mind and not say oh hold on with her she's just showing off i'm not showing off like i said some people came to canada and bam they bought they went to get a new car so me buying a car after over five years is not even any it's not even it's not even any ground to even show up so and that thing i've learned from this old experience is that there's time and season for everything like i think that i'm a very i'm very when it comes to finances i can see that i'm quite prudent i don't do things because my friend is doing it i don't buy things because ah someone is buying it no i obey my options because in this life eh, you don't know you don't know how people are getting their money maybe some people have more streams of income than you you'll be like ah, we are both colleagues we are both doing the same work we have the same salary or something similar you don't know what other sources of income they have aside that you don't know if they have if you have more responsibilities than the sort of financial commitment maybe they have you don't maybe they, they, they don't have any you know people that are sending to school or they even have inheritance for example maybe you are you yeah someone like me now whose parents are just you know <laughs> my father is late my mom is just you know there it's not like he's rich my parents are not they're not rich i know rich i'm not I, i'm even me I'm, i cannot even say i'm rich but alhamdulillah i mean we are here we are living you know we're seven days old this life and i'm happy that we had that experience we had in november of 2020 because it was it made us better informed when we went shopping this year in 2020 in 2022 rather we had you know we knew what our options were we know what we are looking for we bargained and some cars some some dealership will give you zero zero percent interest like no interest at all if you do a particular number of years so all these things if you're if you're aware of it you have you know you know what you're what you're bargaining for some will give you a particular percentage, uh, percentage for interest rates you have to know you know how you are bargaining and another thing that also helps you if, if you have a, like very good credit score uh, it helps you to you know have a good standpoint in bargaining for the interest rates if it's applicable to you and if you have zero percent as interest rates great you know and what else sometimes you can you know do like a co-ownership maybe in your, in your husband or your, your, your wife you can co-own the car to get your finances or just one person maybe one person with be, be a better credit score you know just know what your options are you know weigh all that and don't just jump into it go to a number of uh, dealership and you know compare their rates compare their prices and you know you'll be good so that's been said let me show you so i videoed some of uh, like the experiences you know when we, when we went to get the car and all of that so i just wanted to show you so watch it and enjoy again i'm not bragging i'm not showing enough i'm just making this video for the purpose of education information but let us also inside this video is to make it you know, you know to make it more spicy or more fun and more relatable you know so enjoy the video thank you the car eventually got uh it's, it's under uh, under pilot so let me show you and you know see i love my car though i love my car i love it <laughs> i love it 
in this video today i'm taking you through um our car purchase so you're getting a new car because the car i'm driving we've been driving it for about three years or more now and it's giving some issues so we just decided that you know we take it off and then we get a new one uh now it's time to buy a new car i'm good like i deserve it <laughs> so come with me the car I love the color as well. Pardon? No, no, I have the plate, okay? I already played yeah. my Yeah, okay. this is the backup camera. The plate is hiding it, okay? okay. Just be careful. But I told Abdul, so I will see you guys there, okay? Okay, all right. And but the car is not bad. Yeah, I like it. Fine, I love it with this machine too. I love it. I love this car. Mm -hmm. I love it too. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It was only I and it's been in the house only. Oh my god, are you kidding? I'm driving a new car, I'm very crazy. Yeah, yes. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us very comfy. Uh, thank you very much. Very thank you. Very so you guys like the car? Yeah. It's yeah. the best. <laughs> it's yeah. the best. It's always the best. Every car we dress it's always the best. This one is the best so far. Uh, so far. So and I hope it's the one that we buy. Well, let's see. Let's see. We're test driving. So here we are. I'm test driving the car. My husband went to get something at Subis. So we are in the car. Just drove it from the from the dealership here. And it felt good driving this car. Like it felt good. It felt good. It felt good. Even the kids are in love with the car. Yeah. Kids love it. <laughs> kids love it. <laughs> so hello guys, we just got this new car. <laughs> and like a TV, and I'm so happy. I hope we buy the cat and Jella. And, 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 hello, guys. <laughs> I love this new car. Wow. It's a black car. So we just finished our under. Now we are leaving. So we just pick up the car in about a few days. Yep. That's the food shop. Yeah, food shop. I know. Okay. I know. Yeah, so we are off to Mizo to eat some food. Yeah, I will. I'll have to make up to eat some food. Yeah. Oh, see my dad. 
It's hot, so. Thank you. I can't move this one. Thank you. 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 Thank This car. So just finished the mizu. So the kids are going with their dad. Wanna be? No, the girls are going with their dad. Wanna be? Is going with me. Hello, <coughs> my son. I'm so full and tired. Let's quickly go so you can meet them up. <laughs> Wait for us. And the garage has been cleaned up. At least the car can come in here now. This is enough space for the car. My husband did a good job, man. Oh, a lot of cleaning. This is enough space for the car. There's our trash. I'll go outside. So, we are already practicing using the garage. So, my husband packed <laughs> my car in. I'm just trying to see if. A new car will fit into the garage and it fits in, which is great. I don't have to, like, many stores, I don't have to clean up the snow and stuff like that. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. So, this is the post I made just you know, explaining you know how we went car shopping, you know, and how we had to go back to work. And I didn't see the need to buy the car anymore. And let me just show you some of the comments I also got, you know, people sharing their experiences. Um kudos to my uh meanwhile kudos to my life in West Korea followers you're the best thank you so much guys for the support so i went car shopping this month so i need a series of test drive and love it i will i will go for buying as opposed to leasing with leasing there's a lot of cons and the price difference for my car isn't crazy if you can afford it please buy a lease and drive a new car probably finish <laughs> means that problem does not end enjoy your life and those that came with mentality that it's waste of money that's okay we will all meet in front do you and i do you and i do me shaking now life university is not this is not my uh ayondai palisade yes i drove that that is it wonderful car wonderful wonderful car uh here says true only is another comment up there if you you me self must drive a brand new car when the time is right and that was me replying and she goes true only at the right time i'm not with anybody and yes the person talks the box for us so very roomy and techy my son loved that car he really loved it but he loves this one we got so he loved the one we got eventually uh, i have all the applications baba great read thanks for sharing your spot on other needs versus wants and everyone has to evaluate their personal finances to figure out what was best in their situation great very informative post thanks for sharing a uh, lot of new information here as i don't drive at the moment but i'm looking at options thanks for sharing sis thanks for sharing such great insights you're absolutely right and this is so succinct summary succinct Yes, very, very well summarized. Thanks for sharing, sis. Uh, nice right up. It's always good to prioritize our needs over once. It helps us make better inform informed decisions. That's absolutely right. That was a sensible decision. Who are we trying to impress anyway? One should always do what's best for oneself and family. Good. Good insight. Thank you for sharing. I love how this is well broken down, showing pros and cons of both sides. Thanks for all you do for the community. Thank you, Lagos, Halifax, Mom. Huh? 24 for food. Thanks a lot for sharing. I wish we had a lot of information when we came. Or I appreciate this now, Sha. 
uh thanks for always sharing sensible information as per usual say some people learn the hard way because they aren't better informed about the options available to newcomers so many sales gimmicks that's right best to buy a fairly used car unless of course you want to build up your credit history as a newcomer then listing financing may be helpful everyone's circumstances are uniquely different that's right thanks for sharing thank you for sharing now i am better informed i honestly feel the same way about the craze to buy a house <laughs> as another topic for another day see other comments here like you can tell that this is a very boring topic house buying in canada you know there's this thing about you know people particularly, particularly nigerians some nigerians i would say maybe there's this competition ah i bought a car i bought a house you know you haven't bought a house you've came you've come to canada two years three years you don't have a house you know maybe one day i can make a video about that you see how just this comment see how much you know comments it gave say your head is there my sister what's the rush it seems to be a new immigrant milestone to quickly buy a house like it this is like a video on its own see you know, the comments about the house thing see other comments see other comments just that house comments says driving a new car is sweet gone hmm. yeah so not a not a fan of lease share it looks like lower payments but in the end you get nothing nice points so that's because that's one of the cons of leasing i agree so that <laughs>
Good? Yeah, if you have more questions, you know, this car comes. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's okay, guys. It's just the part. The car comes with a lot of functions. You can always go to the glove compartment and use the blue book, okay? That will tell you all the functions of the car. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thank you so much. Of course, definitely. Uh, let me see here. This is the heated windshield, okay? okay. Imagine if you car car to car outside, there okay. ice, okay. snow, okay. or something, okay. you can always use this. Okay. So okay. it will be heated, okay? Okay, when you okay. 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 All good? good. I have full yeah. tank of gas. This is the all wheel drive system. It shows you uh, how oh. much power you have for each wheel, especially oh. when it's oh. cold and snow. That will show you the car will be a very good car in the oh, snow. Okay. Good. Okay. Full tank. Yeah, so tank of gas for you, okay? This yeah. is, you see, is how warm it is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's okay. good. Okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to tell the kids they can turn around the heated seat for themselves on the for second the floor. For the chair as well, okay? Yeah. Green. And they can adjust the uh, uh, climate for, for themselves too. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you see, you can do it for them yeah. too, actually. Okay, let me see the back where the system is. Uh, How do you feel, guys? Good, so good. 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 You excited? Good. good. Nabil, Nabil, no say anything. I'm so ah. good, I said. Hey, good to me. Mommy, <laughs> thank you so much for getting me. Very, very, You're welcome. God is amazing. Shut up, babe. Enjoy. Amazing, no, honey. Uh, congratulations on your car, okay? Thank you so much, Enjoy Alina. the car and uh, have fun with the car, okay? Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Bye. Okay. You love the curl. It's pretty. Yeah, do you have Wi-Fi? Sure. Uh, Kali. Is the Wi-Fi on? Okay. The, the number one, I think. Yeah. Anything you tell me, you hear me? I just have a phone. Yeah, but it's very... You, it's actually, you can also use that curl. Yeah, healthy. we got our curl. Yippee. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Yippee, 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 I went to drive to school on Monday. <laughs> 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 Your friends don't see it if you drive me. One of their wives. Now you just really want to go to school. I want to see how it feels like. It's not the same thing. I feel it now. So, I'm a professional soccer player.
So, or maybe what we need to do is to free up this one. The dreams technology. Okay, I'll also be learning much of technology in the same way that I'm going to do. I'm the live with me. Morning, Rahim. Morning, Kiyomani. Amen. The same way that I'm going to do. Korea, Lao, Aha, Chila, Osama. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Thank you for this. Alhamdulillah. Thank you for the more blessing. More Big up. Don't worry, don't worry. You know, you know, you know, you Inshallah. <laughs> Even the driving I'm doing. Oh my god. Is it the driving? We're going cruise Lord. He's on the pilot now. What do you expect? As in I came on drive. As I was just going like Oh pilot. my god. Please suck on your ballet. No more to the Because I'm telling you. Although I don't have any people here yeah, but at the same time, yeah. <laughs> well, try, let's try for now. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. 2018. Nah, uh, 2018, Navi. Yeah. I'll try you. In, this is like the 40s. I'll tell you, Motoyen, GMC. Yeah. I'll try. Yeah. Really try, though. The dollar, we all our trips, all our. Yeah, yeah. Really uh, ah, interprovincial yeah. trip. Okay. Try. That's your own car, Nabila. <laughs> so, what's here? This is my own car. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my bicycle too. Hello, guys. And this is a new car. How do yeah. you feel, guys? Good. We have one new car. Have this seat. It's a Honda. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm going to put it in front of you. I don't like a phone. Like no, just for this one battle. Yeah, 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 like, like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 so I have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope that you saw this video with an open mind and not think otherwise. Eh? Everything I've shared is from, from my heart, what I've been led to. Please see this video as that. Don't say this girl is showing off. I'm not showing you no. I'm saying it's over because it took me a, a while to make this video. I'm like, what would they say? Even though I don't live my life for people. Because if you do something, people will still say. If you don't do, people will still say. But I'm like, why not? So I, 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 I like, like to do things that I, I really want to do. People won't always talk. So if I'm one of those that are going to steal you after this video, hey, God is watching you. So thanks for watching my video. Have a great time. Please subscribe to my channel if you're yet to so like, subscribe, like, share my video. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.